Hello everyone, this is Avery Jenkins, the course designer of the Green Lake Disc Golf Park in Interlock, Michigan. Today I'm going to take you through the championship goal layout, par 66, measuring in at just over 10,000 feet. A very difficult and challenging course used for the 2021 Green Lake Open presented by Sheboygan Brewing Company and Aloft Disc Golf. It was a true honor to design this beautiful wooded course through the woods of Northern Michigan. So let's start you off on hole number one, a very inviting 325 foot par three, just to get you into the course and, and on your way. I highly recommend an overstable mid-range to possibly an overstable fairway driver, trying to carry the fairway corridor and flare skip left and challenging these five trees surrounding the basket, gonna set up for a very well-earned birdie to start your round. As we make our way to hole number two, a very slim, tight fairway right off the tee, measuring in at 400 feet, gonna try to carry a, a good driver straight with very little movement right to left, trying to penetrate forward to the back wall of these cedar trees which line the right side and a very precariously placed basket just behind this last cedar tree again par three you're trying to get up and down for birdie and go two four two on this goal layout and here's where it starts to get interesting hole number three your first par four of the round measuring in at 625 feet might opt for a forehand or a big turnover off the tee to get to the sweet spot corner where the short pin is located from here you have approximately about 300 feet as you turn the corner left setting up for a straight shot to the stretched out basket placement of hole number three Here's the second of back-to-back -back par fours, a hole that presented itself really nicely during the design, a very thin and tight corridor with some choice signature trees with that tree elbow to the right and this really nice placement of trees to the corner sweet spot as you bend around left, presenting you with two distinct fairways one to the left going to that short pin and this straight corridor taking you all the way to the long basket position position right here in between these three trees on the beautiful wooded green hole number five aka the pit probably one of my favorite par threes on this entire course and definitely uh, the most steep elevation anywhere on the property as you traverse this little depression midway throughout the fairway looking at possibly throwing a, a straight mid-range to maybe a slower fairway driver trying to push the back edge of these trees to a beautiful guarded green Now I took it easy on you on the previous hole. Now it's time to really dive into this course. The first par five, measuring in at 905 feet, hole number six. Really trying to carry a big distance driver, power shot off the tee and fading left around this corner. At this point here, you'll be given a choice to either go left side with a forehand or a backhand turnover or firing a straight shot as far as you possibly can. Again, it's a par five. You're trying to get at least two drives down this fairway and eliminating a kick right to left. If that does happen, you're gonna be struggling for a par and possibly a bogey. Now 
Now, if that previous hold didn't shake you up a little bit, entering into another par four, 555 feet, very slim, tight corridor fairway right off the tee pad. You got some choice trees, both right and left, looking to possibly throw a control fairway driver or step it up to a bigger distance driver with a fade to the left to set up a second shot approach, either a soft mid or putter to the right side or a really nice challenging backhand forehand shot around this island of trees. After back to back very challenging holes, here's a chance to get one back. Hole number eight of 330 foot par three, giving you some choice options off the tee, either a flex turnover forehand, or you do get the option for that backside hyzer looking to skip left with a beautiful open green for that chance to knock down that big birdie putt. Now here's another one of those holes that presented itself really nicely during the design process. Hole number nine, 740 foot par four through a natural corridor alleyway through these massive old growth trees. Looking to take a, a control fairway driver, plan for position to the sweet spot. As you bend and shape a shot to the right side, the blue basket being the short position just behind that row of trees to the right side but your shot is taking it to the back side stretching it out on a long second shot for a chance to get up and down for that birdie to finish the front nine now after an exhilarating front it's time to move it to the back nine as we try to take a big turnover shot or a long forehand position placement shot on this 685 foot par four. It is about position when you're playing in the thick, dense woods. And I'm just trying to get to this back side here where I'll be uh, given some options. Whether I wanna take it through the slim left side, trying to miss a few of those late trees, or I do have the option for a backhand hyzer. Second shot approach, beautiful hole number 10. Now, after you played a couple back-to-back -back par fours shaping off to the right side, here's a chance to throw a big righty hyzer, trying to take it tight on the left, and with some height, trying to get that distance and that carry on a very long 465-foot par three with some very challenging trees late down that corridor. All you're really trying to do is get yourself a putt. And some of the longer putts might go in for twos. Other than that, you're really just trying not to bogey this hole. And stepping up to probably my favorite hole on the entire course. Hole number 12, 750 foot par four. The reason I love it so much, you're able to take a big distance driver off the tee, try and surpass four, 450, maybe pushing five. And you do get a kind of a split fairway into the sweet spot. And then you get another split fairway, either a back door hyzer or a straight shot to attack the pin. Be sure to look for my name on the bench that I sponsored on this very hole. On a course of this caliber, par threes are few and far between. This is your chance to get one back. Hole number 13, a 370 foot par three. It does give you the visual down that right side corridor, but the shot is a big turnover to the left side. Trying to challenge this alleyway of trees, looking to maybe do a little flex shot with a fairway or a distance driver to a very tight and protected green.
Hole number 14. It's another one of those big pro par threes at 475 feet. A very tight alleyway. Looking to punch a distance driver. You do got a little back door to the right, being a probably a narrower fairway, or you got the bigger fairway to the left side. Really trying to test these last group of trees here, and at least trying to give yourself a look at a long birdie putt. And here's another absolute gem. It doesn't get any better when you can see the basket from the tee pad on a long 780 foot par four through the woods. Looking to go big distance driver for position as you get choice between the right side or left side fairway. This is a pinch point. This is where it bottlenecks and then opens up giving you a backdoor hyzer shot to the right or continuing to throw that straight shot to attack the basket, second shot. An absolute true pro par four in the woods. Now here's a great chance for a bounce back birdie. On the final par three of this course, looking at 335 foot, fairly open corridor fairway, looking to throw either a, a nice power mid or a, a gently fading fairway driver. Not too much in the way on this hole. You're looking to score and get on to 17. As we're coming down the stretch, one of the prettier holes, a true dogleg and natural fairway on hole 17, a short par four at 545 feet. You're playing for position, looking to possibly take a mid range off the tee or a control fairway driver. You're just really trying to get to that little sweet spot to set up a short second shot approach to a very wide open green, absolutely gorgeous. And no championship course would be complete without a nearly 1,000 foot par five finishing hole, AKA the Green Lake Monster. This course was inspired by one of my favorite disc golf course designers, John Houck, who's designed some tremendous wooded championship courses that really give you the benefit of throwing distant shots and precision shots. And it's everything you're looking for in a big championship course. Obviously, on this, you want to land toward the left side, giving you a more open fairway gap on either a second or third shot. You just want to keep in the short stuff. A kick to the right or left off one of these trees, you're taking digits. Trying to push that approach shot backside of the green and trying to walk away the least a par, maybe a bonus birdie. You just don't want to walk off with a bogey and, and have that kind of feeling walking off this beautiful goal layout at the Green Lake Disc Golf Park. This very difficult championship course was meant to challenge the best. It was a true honor to design the Green Lake Disc Golf Park. And I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough, hole for hole, shot for shot. Of course, I want to thank all the volunteers that were countless hours clearing these fairways and installing this epic course. I want to thank our sponsors, the Baldwin family, Tilly's Party Store, Sheboygan Brewing Company, Zanfell, and Aloft Disc Golf. Good luck to all the players and participants at the 2021 Green Lake Open.